Hi, Rolf Snowbeck here. Thanks for joining me again this week. So last week we talked about the theory of how an infrared roof moisture survey is performed. This week we're going to dig into a little bit of the practice and the, and the three primary delivery methods on the roof, from a drone, or from a fixed wing aircraft. So let's dive in. Uh, the traditional method for doing an infrared scan is on the roof with generally two people, one person using the camera, directing somebody with a paint stick where to mark out areas that they, that they suspect are wet. And that's what we see here, somebody using the camera, somebody else painting off on the background. Uh, the thing that's nice about this is that the areas are physically marked on the roof. Uh, the downside to this is that you have men walking around on the roof at night. That's inherently dangerous. Uh, so that gives you uh, the second method, using a drone. The advantage is nobody has to be on the roof at night. I'd suggest you use somebody that is licensed to use a drone, because uh, there's, there's other risks involved with that. Uh, so uh, they use the drone and they're, they're providing you uh, typically a photographic image that shows where those, where those suspected wet spots are. And then lastly would be from a fixed wing aircraft where they fly over and give you imaging down on the roof and give you uh, a photograph that shows uh, where the, where the hot spots are. Now something to remember when you're doing a scan, whether it would be a drone on the roof or, aer or aerial, is you must use a pattern where you're, you're going back and forth across that roof on a systematic basis so that no areas are missed. The other thing to remember is that the steeper the angle is that you're looking at the surface with the camera, the better the resolution. So if somebody was on the roof and they decided to stand in one corner, try to scan the whole roof in a corner, the further they are from the camera, uh, the steeper that angle is, the less apt they are to see a leak, uh, to see a wet spot. So that angle is very important and the distance is important. Uh, and then the last thing is, documentation. If you're going to get your roof fixed and you've marked out some areas on the roof, have that consulting firm prepare a drawing that shows where the wet spots are because a contractor, or if you're getting multiple bids, the contractors are going to have to know where is the damaged insulation and how much of it is there so they can prepare, can prepare a competitive bid. So uh, those are some of the things to think about when you're getting an infrared scan. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. Uh, and as always, uh, don't forget to follow me here on LinkedIn or subscribe to me on YouTube. Have a great day. Thanks for being here.